there's always a silver lining in things. And this is one of those moments where I can find a silver lining in things. When I was, once you complete something and you're done, you always have that, well, if I would have known this, I would have done this differently, right? Or, or I wish I would have done that differently. Well, this is that moment for me to sit down with my studio and do those things that I say that I would have done differently. But today is not about that. Today is about a package that I received in the mail that I have been waiting over a year to get my hands on this package and you're not going to believe what's in this package. And this is gonna be hard for you to imagine, but this package didn't show up at my door by UPS. This package didn't show up at my door by FedEx. This package didn't show up to my door by any real delivery service that I can explain to you. I'm gonna tell you what, this is what the truck looked like that delivered my package. This truck looked like that it used to be maybe a UPS truck or a US mail truck at some point that somebody had stripped all of the labels off of. I mean, you wouldn't believe. Look, I can't even make this stuff up. I mean, the only thing that the van needed other than the labels pulled off of it was maybe something on the side that said free candy or something. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, this dude's ungrateful. At least he got the package. Oh no, look, I never thought that I would receive this package after a year. I am completely shocked that I received this package. I Look, we're gonna have to sit down and get this one unboxed. I knew that I took a chance when I ordered this box. I mean, I truly knew this. And this was, this was one of these situations where Entertainment Earth and, and Pop of the Box and everybody had sold out of these sodas so fast that the only place that was left was Big Apple Collectibles. And I know that that should have been a big red flag and that I should have pumped my brakes and I should have thought about that for a minute. But I really wanted these sodas, so I went ahead and ordered them anyway. I did not, however, expect it to take a year. I know that there's a lot of people out there that say that they are slow and not to order from them. Well, look, I'm going to tell you now that they are extremely slow. They don't get back to your emails very well. They do not function as a company very well. But I can say that, that at least I did receive... Well, maybe I received. I don't know yet. We're we're gonna we're gonna find out first if if I received and I <sighs> I'm still waiting on the package that I've put out over a year ago. Big Apple collectibles. This is still not oh my god. <sighs> so this is what I'm I'm going to say, and that is to, to not order from Big Apple Collectibles. These are not the sodas that I thought I had ordered. I must have ordered these after my original Stan Lee sodas that I still have not received. And I ordered Stan Lee and a few other ones that dropped all at that one time. The, the whole order came up to just over $100. I still have not received that order. I can't believe that I placed this order, though, after that order. This order was placed on 7 20 of 2021 i mean i want you to wrap your head around that for just a minute that means this package is right at four let me do the math real quick we are we are at nine months out just on this package and i still have not received the ones that i thought these were I'm starting to believe now that I'm never going to receive those Stan Lee Pops and the other ones, and I can't seem to get anybody from the company to reply to my email. But that's okay. For now, we're going to get these sodas open. These are still some really cool sodas to see if we got that Chase variant. We got Mr. Monopoly here, and we picked up Rat Fink. Now, Rat Fink is one of my, one of my favorite things of all time. This is actually like a Hot Rod logo, just in case you didn't know. He's like this artist. Really, really, really cool cool deal going on here now the monopoly man is a 10,000 piece run the rat fink is a 5,000 piece run now i'm i'm 
I'm thinking that maybe there's one in six. The cans look so much alike that you can really tell that these were on the same drop. The only difference is the people that are on them and the quantities that they have them in. Let's let's get the Monopoly Man opened up first. Ah, uh, when I when I was making this video, I really thought that these were going to be my Stan Lees that I've had ordered forever. I was super excited to get those, and I know that you could see the disappointment on my face. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy that these came in, but I honestly forgot about these coming in because I had been so upset at the fact that I'm never, ever, ever going to receive those Stan Lees that I had ordered, and I think that is garbage, garbage, and I think companies should not be allowed to, to operate if that's the way they treat people, and that's been a big thing in this community. So, so look, this is what I'm saying to you now if you're watching this video. Do not order from Big Apple Collectibles. You are not going to get your stuff in the way that you think you are. It's kind of like this, this 50, not even 50, let's say 70-30 split. 70% 70 of the people that order from them either never receive their package or get them 5 to 12 months later, or they get them right away, and that seems like the 30%. There's this crazy, crazy thing going on with this company. It almost it almost feels like a scam, to be completely honest with you. It's been so long, I don't remember what the Chase variant of this guy looks like, but I should be able to look at... Let's, 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 let's take a close look at him. Before we get that Paul out real quick, he does look really cool. He really looks like the Monopoly Man. There's a really lot of cool art out there right now with the Monopoly Man, but... It's just really expensive, and I know if you've been on Instagram for any amount of time, you've seen these advertisements where they have the, the big Monopoly cards. Let's see, is, 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 this is not the Chase variant. So this is the common. He's won 8,400. It's still a really awesome soda. It's going to go with the rest of my collection of sodas. I have kind of been dabbling with the idea of selling off my soda collection, though, to maybe, like, afford, like, getting the studio in the place that I would like it to be. I mean, because there, there is still a lot of work that has to happen in that studio before I start getting it put back together. Now, Rat Fink is a 5,000-piece run. I would love to say that that means that you have a better chance of maybe getting the Chase variant, but that, that doesn't mean that you have a better chance of getting the Chase Chase variant. That just means there is less of the Chase variant out there than there would have been before. And I'm kind of wondering when you're dealing with a company like this already, what are the odds of them sending you the Chase variant to begin with? I mean, it, it, we have to go ahead and put it out there. If it takes them nine months to a year to get them to you, the odds of, of getting a Chase from them is probably going to be really low. <laughs> This guy is really cool, though. And looking at the back of it, this is going to be the common as well. I told you a second ago, though, I would not be surprised if that's all you've gotten. They've probably already opened them all, to be completely honest with you. But let's take a closer look at this guy. The Rat Fink himself is really, really cool. And I bet there's a weight difference when it comes to these, and they're weighing them. And they're, Look, it's already a shady company, so you know that there's some shady stuff going on in the background all the time. Look, this is this is my buyer's warning to you. Stay away from Big Apple collectibles at all costs. I'm grateful that I received these two. I'm still really upset about my Stan Lee's though and maybe at, at some point they'll they'll decide that they're going to 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 respect the fact that they sold them to me and never sent them and refund my money, but I truly truly doubt it to be completely honest with you. The studio has a long ways to go, and this is going to be a really awesome journey that we're all going to take together. I'm going to make sure that I document this from beginning to end, and you'll be able to catch little bits and pieces of it along the way. So just make sure that you stay tuned for the endings and all of that good stuff. And if you didn't know, I normally throw some pretty cool stuff at the end of my videos, and maybe that's where I'm going to put this, and, and maybe I'm just going to do one whole video of it. I don't know, but hey, look, I appreciate all the love and support and I'll catch you next time have a good one I gotta get these back to my good friend Justin who's always letting me borrow his pops thank you Justin I appreciate it have a good one